What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to troll with live bait to catch big bass. Now you can do this with any kind of live bait, but today we're going to be using big live golden shiners. You can do this with bluegill or shad or store-bought shiners, whatever kind of bait you have in your area. But I've been live bait fishing since I was a kid, so this is one topic that I, I do have a lot of experience on, and I have caught a lot of big bass fishing with live bait. And if you haven't seen those videos, I'm gonna put an end card up here, and I'm gonna put an end screen at the end of the video, and I'm gonna put it in the description where you guys can go check those big bass live bait videos out. But with any time you go live bait fishing, first thing you gotta do is catch live bait. So that's where we're gonna start this video at. I'm gonna show you guys how we're catching the shiners. Let's go. So guys, what I'm doing to catch these shiners right now, I've got like a tiny little hook on here and I'm just throwing it out in a tiny little piece of bread and I'm just letting it sink and I'm watching my line and then whenever the line starts moving, I'll pull up really slow. Because if you pull up fast, you'll pull that little hook out of their mouth. Shiner's mouth are a little bit different than brim. They're a lot smaller, so it's a lot easier to pull the hook out of their mouth. And if you use a bigger hook, a lot of times you won't even get the hook in them. And they'll just come up and nibble at it. And they won't even get that whole hook in their mouth. But whenever you're fishing with a little tiny hook, you get more bites, but you have to be really easy with them and not pull that hook out of their mouth, not bend the hook or not let them get off. He's fishing with a cork up there. Sometimes cork works better, sometimes free lining like I'm doing now works better. Just depends on what kind of mood they're in. Sometimes they want Burger King, sometimes they want Zaxby's. <laughs> oh, 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 I got him, oh, oh, I got him, oh, I got him. So you guys, I'm, I'm gonna show you how small this hook, hook is. I don't even know what size it is. It's like a number 16 maybe or something. It's really tiny. But look how small that, that shiner's mouth is. See how little his mouth is? You don't want fishes to breathe. The fish aren't gonna die. We're keeping them to fish with them. They're not gonna die. Don't worry, don't worry, girls. Yeah, she said she don't want the fish to die. Wait, that's <laughs> a big one. Jeez. Look at the size of this bluegill, guys. This is big enough to be dinner right here. Look at that. Look at that joker. That was a good fight, too. <laughs> I felt like I flipped in some cover and was pulling him out of there. That thing is bigger than my hand, boys. I'll just hold my hand up for comparison here. Brim or? No shiners. They're all shiners. Come on, shiner. Get, just get in that bucket for now. I'm going to show you guys my shiner setup real quick. This is a PC Fun Elite Series reel, so it's a 731 gear ratio. And then the pole here. This is a 7.4 heavy action, uh, fast tip. So it's really stiff and I got 60 pound braid on. So if I hook a fish, I'm, I'm gonna be able to pull him in. This is a three aught flipping hook. They, have, they normally have a little thing on it to hold up the bait, but I cut that off of there and then I bent the hook so that the hook is slightly curved and then inward to make a little bit of offset. So what that does with it being more inward, if once it hooks the fish, it keeps the fish on there better. And I'm gonna take this big old golden shiner right here and I'm just gonna hook him right out at the bottom and then right through the top of that lip, right in front of his little nose cavity there. I'm gonna get that hook through there real gently, just like that. And now we're gonna catch us a big bass with it. I'm just gonna drop my shiner in the water. I'm not gonna cast him out because what that's gonna do is it's gonna kill that shiner more. It's hot out here right now. These things are gonna die quick anyway. So I want that thing to be as live as it as, as live as possible. So I'm just gonna put him in the water, let him revive for a minute before I even let him out, check him out, make sure he is good, still alive, which I'm doing now. He looks like he's kicking pretty good. He's good to go. 
and then I'm just gonna drop him right here and we're easing on the troll motor really slow we're going once he gets out far enough away from the boat I'm not gonna click my pole I don't like to adjust the drag so there's two ways to do this you can press the spool and you can adjust the drag all the way tight and then the line can be pulled out and not backlash I don't like to do that I like to keep my drag adjusted for whenever I hook the fish so the other way which I like to do I will tighten my free spool all the way to where I know if a bass gets on there, that free spool is moving. Just like that. That way if a bass does hit it, it's not gonna backlash. And if the free spool starts moving, I know it's not the fish and it's a bass. All right guys, I'll show you what we're doing here. He's got his shine route on this side of the boat and I'm gonna have my shine route on this side of the boat. And we're gonna have them out at different lengths. So he's gonna have his out a little closer to the boat. I'm gonna get him way out there further. That way our two shiners aren't right there next to each other and getting tangled up. And then after we get our shiners out to the right distance, we're just gonna troll along this bank in the shade line and pull these shiners in front of these bass where we think they're at until one of them decides to commit to it. Doing this method right here, it's more like searching for fish. Like if you're using a search bait or crank bait, as far as artificial goes. So we're more so now searching for fish, but like if we know where the fish are at, we know they're right here and they're stacked up, we would just sit on top of them and not move. But right now we're just gonna cover area and try to find that big fish. Cause we don't know where he's at. I think he's got one boys. Yep, he's got one boys. He's got one, boys. He's got one, boys. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Fatty. Yeah, it is. There you go. Finally caught me. <laughs> That's a boy. It's a boy? Yeah, you know we don't want to fish a boy out. How you know it's a boy? There we go. Four pounds? Yeah, he's definitely four. Definitely. <laughs> and y'all don't even know I y'all, yeah. And now I'm ready to take him over. Cause every day I'm getting closer. Oh, there it went. There it went, boys. Oh, oh, yep. I got, I got the hook in him. Got the hook in him. Oh, it's a tank. It's a tank. It's a tank. Got the hook in him. It's a tank. How big is Jeez, dude. How big is this thing? I can't get him up. God. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a tank all day long. That's a big one. Got him. What in the heck? <laughs> Check him out, boys. Look at that fat figure that out there. That's every that? bit of six and a half pounds. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and release this tank. <laughs> Thanks, huge. <laughs> Daddy, I can't do it. This is battle. So nice. Get a little bit of vibe here. Pins are kicking. There she is. She's Live bait fishing, boys, that's what you get. Tanks. If you like this video, guys, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more live bait videos, drop that in the comments, and we'll see you again next time.